A Boy Scout is trustworthy, loyal, helpful, and among other things, brave. They take an oath to honor their duty to God, their country, and to help other people at all times. And for these two Cub Scouts in Smith County, that oath created a bond between their families that runs even deeper than blood. The gift of life is tonight's special report. Declan Phillips and Skylar Bachover seem like average East Texas boys. When they at Boy Scouts, we met and we said they want to be friends. But it's because of that friendship Skylar's dad is still alive. Seven years ago, a routine checkup ended with terrifying news. Ryan Bachover's kidneys were failing. Back in November or October is when we found out that I had to be put on a transplant list. A shock for the family. For about a week or two, it was it was pretty numbing. But after that, it's just, I mean, what else, what else are you going to do? Just keep on going. So that's exactly what they did, carrying on with everyday life, all while praying for a miracle. Around Christmas, Skyler's family invited Declan's family over for game night. During the course of the evening, Ryan's kidney condition was brought up in conversation. Everybody was talking about their blood types, and I was like, well, what blood type is he? And he said he's O positive, and I was like, oh, me too, I'll give you a kidney. A generous offer, but one that seemed more like a pipe dream than reality. Regardless, this mother of four decided to get tested. Weeks later, the lab called with her results. She told me that it was perfect match all the way across the board and asked me did I still want to do it and I was kind of in shock and I was like, yes, I still want to do it. Emily said she knew it was something God wanted her to do. When she was 28 weeks pregnant, her son Sam was born prematurely. She says doctors told her he only had a 25% chance to survive. We were in the NICU for 42 days and I prayed every single day that if he would be okay and he would live, that I would pay it forward any possible way that I could. And now was her opportunity. She immediately called the Bachovers to tell them the good news. One day she called and said, I'm your donor. From there, both families went into planning mode. Uh, where are the boys going to be? Who's going to take care of the house? Who's going to take care of the dogs? Who's, what are you going to do about finances? The day we found out to the surgery and it felt like it just happened overnight. For both families, helping their children understand was one of their biggest challenges. We had to keep it together for our kids. Um, because, I mean, Graham is four, he doesn't really understand. Skylar's eight, he understands to a degree. Emily said Declan asked a million questions, all the what ifs you try not to think about. And the night before surgery, that was the first thing he asked me. What if something happens and you don't get to come home? She explained she was doing this so his friend Skylar could grow up with a father. And that God was watching over us and everything would be okay. Surgery day finally arrived. The whole time she tried really hard not to show her fear and her concerns. Um, and so it just, like it reassured me that she's the strongest person that I've, I've ever met. It was terrifying. Um, and I just tried to tell myself, you know, this is a routine surgery. They do them every day. It happens all the time. Um, but those five hours were a very long time. Emily was out of surgery first. Two hours later, the doctors were finally finished with Ryan. The transplant seemed to be a success, but both had a long road to recovery. Ryan says he gives all the glory to God. He did it, and he just kind of just said, look, here, I'm going to hand this over to you and take it, take it and run. Everything fell into place perfectly. I mean, there's, there's no other explanation for it. Ryan hopes others will realize the power of Emily's gift. The main thing is, is you know, getting more people like her to step up and willing to be a living donor. Living being the key word. According to transplantliving.org, the transplant success rate from a living donor is significantly higher than a transplant from a deceased donor. However, living donor transplants are the least common by about 75% compared to deceased donor transplants. To give him more time with his boys meant the world to me. It wasn't it wasn't anything for me other than to see his kids get to have him for a longer period of time. Time that will now be spent cherishing his family. That's a gift, a gift that can never be repaid. 
or never late enough. A gift that started between a couple of Cub Scouts, bonded by faith, family, and friendship that is sure to last a lifetime. Because Emily and Ryan are still recovering from this transplant procedure, both families are in need of financial assistance. They have a joint GoFundMe page where you can donate to help them during their recovery time. That link can be found on our website shortly after this newscast. That's EastTexasMatters.com. Neil Marcus, back to you. Casey.